Nice of Panasonic to lend us this. Very trusting in my book mm. with our past history. What's it called? It's the Panasonic Vericam LT. LT. Not been out long. Not been out long and uh, we're about to go and have a play. Do we know what LT stands for? No. to reset it for that one okay yeah it's chunky ergonomically i like it i quite like it too the build solid is well. solid yeah. really strong the the body is really strong all the connections feel really strong The the handle is 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 fab i don't feel i'm going to break this camera we've had to put the v-lock on the back yeah. because i don't have any anton bauer batteries fine it sits on your shoulder nicely yeah. it's I wouldn't call it a light camera. No. If you take your hand away and you, you hold it down out of the way while you're talking to someone before you start again, yes, it's still comfortable. It feels solid. Yeah, width-wise, it's a bit wider than your F5. Yeah. I quite like the hand grip. I actually like the hand grip. It's comfortable to use, and the iris wheel mm. on it, really responsive. I like it. It doesn't notch. No. Even though, obviously, you're stepping on the exposure on an EF lens. And it actually almost feels like it's smoothing it out. It makes you feel like it looks smooth. Yeah. You've been using the camera. Probably like that. Like that. Yep. So you've just taken it off your shoulder. It, yep. It's getting a bit heavy. You want to put it down. And um, will be some kind of button that you could maybe it needs press a here, like a quick release. So it releases the cogs and then you just... Whip it up. Yeah. So you could even have it... It, it needs a quick release to knock it out of the way. And then... Drop back where you had it before. Uh -huh, so some sort of, course, of lock yeah. and then reset yeah. so that you can put the camera down. Yeah. Uh, time to reset again then. Mm -hmm. It naturally falls on the viewfinder all the time. Yes, of course. <laughs> Having said that, the viewfinder is very chunky. So it's all, it's all solid. It, I don't, I don't, I'm not nervous about putting it down. I like the fact that the um, connections are all close to where they need yeah. to be. All, in fact, all of the controls mm. have got a nice feel to them. Mm. Right. Okay. Mm. Now, what you said this was called the control, the panel. control panel, right? Yeah. yeah. However, I do like the concept of this. I'm a big mm. fan, and you can twist it round. If you're if you're someone shooting here, yeah, and you and you're just picking off a few GVs, yeah. and you've got a director stood next to you, you really can just angle this. The way it comes off, 
Yeah, but how, got, how often are you going to want to do that? Well, seriously. Okay, no, seriously. You're using you want, it as an onboard monitor. And looking that way. And, and I think I think that's really usable. But at the moment, it's it, it looks a bit afterthought. Uh, this cable's too... I hate trailing cables. How do they do on a hoover? <laughs> you know on a hoover when you pull the cable out? Oh, yeah. It's the, and, <laughs> and it goes, <laughs> goes back in again. Yeah, it runs the fingers back. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. I would love it if that clipped on the side of the camera and worked as a conventional yeah. control panel on the and side of the... On the opposite side to you. Well, in an ideal world, I'd either side. Well, yeah, that's true. Do you think it's time to reset again? Yeah. There's, there's an issue um, with controlling the audio levels. Yes. We... Where you need to use this panel, really. You can control it from the iris wheel. Yes. But then you can't control the iris. No, we couldn't get it to do that. No. We, it took us a while, didn't it, to yeah. find the control. Obviously, we're brand new to this camera, so anything we mention about all oh, the menus, you're yeah. going to get used to it. Can't they just give us a couple of plastic knobs <laughs> to adjust the sound level with? Yeah. You know, that's, that's all anybody yeah. wants. This is aiming as a production camera. Okay. I think this is aiming for the, the Reds, the Amira... Five. F55. So basically, basically, you're going to plug your, your... You've got a sound man. How often do you control the audio levels yeah. on the camera? Your turn to reset. I'll do it. One thing we we didn't look at thinking of that is where the headphone... Oh, it's there. I've seen it. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I've seen it. was. Uh, What's this? Oh, no. No, that's a thread. Oh, got it. It's on this side. Oh, I should have should have realised that. That's how the, the other P2 cameras are. The menus, Yeah. you were getting a little bit frustrated. However, mm. I just think that's a... Uh, a Me just not a, being used to it. Just using it issue. Maybe. And and, and the, the display of the menus, I thought was really clear. It's nice. Yeah. As you, as you, when you find the correct sub-menu, yeah, that is. It's lovely. Um, I thought it was really clear. And using the, the three buttons on the top of the control panel through the bottom, a bit yeah. reminds me a bit of the F5. I'm coming back to the idea of this. I do like it. I, I think it needs my Hoover idea. Um, in fact, I really liked the playback option on here. There's a button here that just says play. Yeah. You just hit it once, and it immediately gives you your clips, which you scroll down, hit once, and you play. Now, good. there's too many cameras that the playback function is really awkward. So I like that. I, that. That's for me is a real. I think it's really good. It's it's really nice. Playback yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Viewfinder. Hmm. Standard. It's SDI. a standard SDI, which is great. Fantastic. Which gives you options. Mm -hmm. You can obviously adjust really well yeah. with the bracket, forward or, and back, with that whatever angle really you want to do. It's quite stiff at the moment, isn't it? I quite. It's quite nice. Quite yeah. like that. The diopters. That notch is in a really nice... The fact that it locks in, I really In like. each one is, is really nice. Thought out. But I found it easy to focus, um, which was really, really good. You weren't so Did sure. <laughs> I'm probably a little bit fussy, but I quite like to operate with my eye away from the viewfinder a little bit. This is an impression of you. Right. Like, okay. I could have done this for years and yeah, years, yeah. right? Honestly, yeah. okay. really. This is... Um, so you set a shot up, yeah. say you want a tripod, you go like that, and you start the shot and you and you go. <laughs> because of that, I don't find this viewfinder easy because you, you sort of have to have your eye close up to it. Not the sensor, just the magnification of it and the way it looks. You need your eye buried in it for it. When your eye gets there, it's lovely. It's a really good picture. The pictures are sharp, isn't it? It's crystal sharp. If I was committed to this camera, I would buy that viewfinder. Expensive, would but you say, but worth it? Yeah. 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 I'd I, never I, buy I think, this camera and not have that. No. We probably need to reset this. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. So you don't have to choose EF or PL mount. I believe it comes with the EF mount as standard. Um, they sent us a PL mount as well. Really easy to change them. Yeah. It's a fine screw thread. Um, two minutes. And no tools needed. No. And it's solid. It's this posi lock is nice. I quite like it. I do. I find when I'm needing to swap lenses quickly, 
it's a bit of a two-handed operation. So mm. are things like the posi mount that much of an issue that it's not so quick to do? I don't think it's a massive issue. It just irritates Well, you keep going on about it. No. Is it an issue or not? <laughs> Media. Okay. Panasonic P2. Recognisable mm. as a Panasonic, but these are their... P2 Express Express cards. cards. Some of what you're paying for is the reliability of something that won't let you Happy down. with that, because no one wants to lose the day's work. I don't lose them. <laughs> 256 Express. gigabytes. Yours for only... 1,200? Oh, that hurts. It's a lot of 1,200 pounds for one card. How many cards does your average cameraman need? Minimum three? Or would you say more? I wouldn't like to go out and shoot with less than three. No. It's 256 gigabyte though. Even at the highest data rate, that's quite a lot of minutes. But that's, you know, £3,600 to invest. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And not only that, are they going to have a card reader for that? Isn't this an issue with all modern cameras, is you have to take the media costs into account when you buy the camera? Yeah. And that's a bit of a minus with this, isn't it? At £1,200 a card... Yeah, even though it's 256 gig, I would say that's a minus. <laughs> a definite minus. About this time, we probably need to reset it. I think probably we do. Yeah, yeah. Is that the ninth battery today? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Yeah. This camera uses a lot of battery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, let's call it two thirds to be kind to it. Yeah. Two, we've emptied two V-locks and a third of this one yeah. shooting today. And that was just some GVs to play with the camera. It wasn't... This Let's, fan must use a lot of power. Okay, we yeah. have yeah. a microphone just yeah. above us. Yeah. We're going to be quiet. Mm -hmm. And we're going to turn the fan on. And we're not going to boost this in any way in the edit. Okay. We're just going to... So compare the level of the fan to our voices, how loud we've been. Turn it okay. on then. Now, that's a loud fan. Yep. Your ear is right next to your ear. right next to it. Now, if I hit record, yep. the fan cuts out. So I'll let the fan run. I'll hit record, and let's see if we can hear. Then that's oh, almost yeah. silent. I like the way it fades out. <laughs> I bet you're sound man Oh, you turn it on again. Make it stop. <laughs> I need another battery. I need another battery. No, no, I need another battery. Oh, you need another battery. Yeah, <laughs> Can you go and get another battery? I think it's 40 watts, just camera body only. Wow. Compared to your F5. 25. Today's test. Yeah. We've been trying out different formats. Mm. We shot some in HD. Mm. We shot some at 4K. Mm. This camera likes to be reset. <laughs> yeah, reset. <laughs> Almost yeah. between every different menu function. That's an exaggeration. But if you want to change the resolution, you reset the camera. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. Turning this camera on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The director. Yeah. Says, typical director, quick, get that. Yeah. No problem, all ready to go. Yep. Camera. Hang on, I'll turn the camera on. In. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's up now, surely. Ready. Six. It's just come up. Whoa. It's like sixteen seconds. Isn't sixteen it? seconds. That's a long time for a camera to fire up. It's a long time when you've got a director and a team staring at the back <laughs> of your neck. And you've just had to change your codec, so you've got to turn it off yeah. and oh. then power it all you the way back up again. You want to do frame rate now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Got to have a cup of tea. Yeah. Why do we shoot with a camera to make nice pictures? Yeah. This camera yeah. makes really, really nice pictures. The picture quality of this camera 
puts it into a different league. Yes. That's Agreed. why you can compare it to Reds and Amira's and Alexa's even because of the picture quality. It's really, really good. I thought it looked great. We, we shot some bits with some skin tone. Mm -hmm. The skin tone looks really good without playing with it. Yeah. The colours are zingy. There's depth in the colours. Yeah. There's good contrast in the pictures. Lots of latitude. Shooting, we shot a lot of it in vlog. Yes. And there wasn't a lot we couldn't do with those pictures, really. So, in summary, how many extra shot coffee beans would you give this camera? Out of, say, 10. Out of 10. Mm. I think this camera deserves... We, it has to be whole coffee beans. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if I'm going to round it up, then, mm. rather than round it down, mm. so I was going to split my coffee beans. All right, okay. Nine. Ooh, high. Yep. I, ah, it's a really good camera. Pictures there? are great. Straight out of the box... I love the look of the pictures. Of yep. They've got the colour science really nailed. My coffee beans, I'd give it seven. The yeah. only thing that does spring to mind is, is this camera a bit late to the party? Mm. It's, it's bringing beautiful pictures, but if you're at this level, have you already bought an F55? Have you already bought an Amira? Or is there enough churn in the industry that there's enough cameramen looking to move into that, that league, that actually that's fine. It's in the right place at the right time. I'm not quite sure about that. Whether I would buy it. But it's a lovely camera. I loved having it on the shoulder. It, mm. It's comfortable. Mm. Would you buy one? I'd be tempted. Ooh. I think the big market for this camera will be C300 owners. They want to up their game a little bit, you know, move mm. up a level, start acting like pros, you know, okay. something solid. Good build. It's a really good camera. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's classic. Maybe they'll let us have this one cheap. Now you've dropped it. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Oh, I think we have to give it back. <laughs>